Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. It's kind of hot out here, so I'm gonna make it as fast as I can. Um, I looked around online for the kingpin attachment to swap a gooseneck to a where you can hook it to a fifth wheel. And I made some other videos. I've been doing some RV transporting, and when I leased in, I was told, you know, I was under the impression we were going to be doing a lot of campers. Well, I've not pulled but four campers in six months, you know, and but I have missed quite a few because I didn't have the fifth wheel. So what I did yesterday, I've looked for videos, I can't find any online where you can take this tongue out and put the kingpin attachment in. And I went yesterday. This is not, I saw one that had a bigger plate on it that covered the fifth wheel area more, but I would have had to order it and I could just pick this up for the same price where I was. So here's what I got is a, it says Wallace Forge, KPSB, 100% American made. And we like that, so. I'll give it a shot anyway. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because with me having a short wheelbase truck, I was told that I need to get a slider to make sure I clear the back of my cab. I know I've missed out on a couple of cargo tra uh, cargo trailers because they're really wide. One thing that this should open me up for is to have a sliding fifth wheel so I can actually turn with one of the bigger cargo trailers too if I slide it all the way to the back. I have the B&W offset ball, but it's only four inches where that fifth wheel moves a foot. So. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you've never changed one of these out before, loosen this nut. And this is my thing. I would have to get in there and lift that 200-pound hitch out and move it back. When I don't really have that much room in a short bed. This just seemed to be easier. First is moving the hitch. Pull your pin. Loosen this nut, the jam nut. And when you do, this is loose. So pull your pin. Lay this down comes out right like that and it's really not that heavy and I'm just gonna set it right there we're gonna take it around the block 15 20 miles an hour not that much because I've never used this setup before and I want to see how it's gonna act before I actually use it at work so now take this it's got the holes I'm going to the highest position just to just to see how it works out. Put your pin back in. The next thing I'm gonna do, it would be better to hook it up and then tighten this up, but like I say, this will be back out in 30 minutes, so. Go ahead and get it hand tight. That thing doesn't have to be, in my experience, super, super tight. There is a torque specification on it. I don't know what this is, but of all the ones that I've used, they've not been that tight, not terribly tight. And I did have to take this one out, and if you over tighten it, you'll mushroom it. I like to never get that out. So <coughs> we'll go ahead and get her hooked up then. Now, somebody in the comments could tell me, I'm going to ask around before I actually go down the road very far with this, but I'm thinking I've never seen a fifth wheel with safety chains on it when I'm seeing them sitting around, sitting out, and they didn't put anywhere to hook the safety chains, so I'm assuming when you do this, I'm not really sure what to do with my chains, just for the time being, I'm going to hook them right here. So... Probably not 
completely the way that it's supposed to be done, but that's just the way I'm doing it for today. And I did have a carabiner back here for this, and I've moved it. We're gonna put that there. That should hopefully work. Good enough gets around the block anyway. As far as I know, we're hooked up. Bring the jacks up. Get this hooked up. If you can look at it as a whole, I mean, it didn't put, seem to mash the truck down as hard as it normally does. And it does have the trailer kicked up at an angle a little bit. But also, we are parked on a hill, but it's really not bad. I mean, I'm happy with that because as soon as you put a load on it, it's going to level out really good. And one of the trailers like the campers and stuff. And uh, a lot of times we pull the horse trailers with 11 quarters and all that stuff. Those things are heavy, so when I put one of them on it, it's gonna mash it down pretty good. So, I'm thinking I'm in business. I think it'll work. But if anybody's interested, leave a comment in a couple months after I've used it a few times. I'll definitely make another review on it, let you know how it's gonna work. Okay guys, so we made it around the block and came back and it was a whole lot better ride to me what I thought than what I've been pulling with the you know when I pulled it before the gooseneck. It I don't know what the difference was, but it just seemed better. But I'm really happy with it so far. And you can see the trailer is kind of setting up, but it's not enough to matter. And if you do put a load on it or if that was a fifth wheel can you know one of the horse trailers with 11 quarters is what we've been pulling the most of and whenever you put it on it's going to push down on it enough that it's going to take it i think i'm going to be fine but if i do run into any issues with it i will make another video anyway um thank you guys for watching and i hope this helps someone because like i say i looked for looked all over and i could find reviews on the kingpin adapter but i didn't find any where anyone was actually using them so Hope this helps. All right, thanks.